Good evening, everyone. We still got a few people filing in here, but we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, again, this meeting is to talk about the uh, upcoming, uh, you know, as we approach the start of the construction season. Uh, hopefully, despite the roller coaster of weather we've had, uh, we're hoping that uh, we can gear up for construction here in, uh, in mid March here. And so we're here to talk about uh, uh, the construction projects that are going on in Ingersoll Avenue. Uh, just some, uh, we appreciate everyone uh, joining us by Zoom. Uh, this uh, uh, Zoom has been a, a great tool for us as we've gone through the pandemic, and it's also uh, a way to allow a lot of different people to access uh, our meetings, and we can also uh, record the meetings. So if if uh, if you'd like to uh, revisit this meeting, we can we'll post it on our city website, or if there's someone uh, you know that didn't get a chance to attend, again we 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 got the, we'll have the recording of the meeting. So this meeting is being recorded. Uh, and just kind of some Zoom, uh, you know, typical functions. Hopefully, if you're on a computer or a smart device, uh, you might see, uh, hopefully see a, uh, a bar that you, like as shown here uh, with some, some different functions such as mute. Uh, and it, or if you click on this participants icon, it will also uh, give you some options that allow you to raise your hand. Um, and we asked in the matter so that we can have uh, uh, folks, uh, uh, give folks a chance to ask questions and have comments at the end of our, our presentations uh, that you do raise your hand uh, and then we'll ask you to uh, mute or unmute yourself. Uh, if you're on a phone, uh, I do see some folks that, uh, that appear to be on a phone. If you're on a phone, press star nine to raise your hand. So again, uh, if you're on a phone, what, if you're looking to ask a question or make comments, press star nine to raise your hand. Uh, and if you'd like to mute or unmute yourself, press star six. So again, star nine for raising your hand if you're on a phone, star six to uh, mute or unmute yourself. Otherwise, again, if you're on a, a laptop, laptop or computer, uh, you can use hopefully the menu bar commands that you see before you. So again, as I mentioned, this meeting will be recorded. Um, uh, so again, my, my name is uh, Steve Neighbor. I'm the city engineer. Uh, I've got uh, a number of uh, team members with me uh, involved in the project uh, tonight, uh, Scott Almeida uh, from Kirk and Michael, uh, our, our consultant that's 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 been involved with the design and construction of this project, uh, and Jared Roki, uh, consultant with Foth and Associates, who's been involved with the design and construction of the uh, Western Ingersoll Sewer Separation Project, are with me as well as Chris Cool, project engineer. Uh, they'll be helping me give the presentation. I know we've also got a handful of city staff, uh, such as Dave, John Davis, Dave Camp, Jeff Wiggins, and Tom Block, and I. I may be missing some, and I apologize. There's a, like I said, there's almost 90 people in the meeting, which is outstanding. Uh, we've also got, uh, uh, I know our council, our ward council member, uh, ward council member uh, Josh Mandelbaum, uh, who's with us. Uh, and I'm not sure. Uh, Mayor Frank County, um, I know I talked to him earlier, was, I'm not sure if he's on or, or not yet. But uh, um, so if there's any council members uh, that I'd missed, uh, please feel free to. To, to chime in, I apologize. It's a, we've got 90 folks on the on the meeting, so it is a little harder for me to 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 find everybody. So, but um, I want to thank everyone for for joining us again tonight. We're actually here to talk about uh, a, a few projects. Uh, one, uh, just kind of some background on the work on Ingersoll, uh, and then give uh, an update on the 2022 construction, and then we'll be giving a preview of of the Phase Four streetscape design. Uh, again, we've been working working construction-wise on the Ingersoll Avenue streetscape between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th Street. Uh, phase four is 28th Street to 31st Street. So um, first will be, uh, again, just kind of some background. Uh, in 2020, uh, the streetscape work on the north side of Ingersoll between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway uh, and 24th Street was completed. And last year in 2021, the streetscape on the north side on Ingersoll between 24th and 28th uh, was completed, as well as uh, work involving the Western Ingersoll sewer separation project. That, that work took place between 35th Street and 41st Street. Again, the sewer separation uh, is an effort to uh, separate uh, what is our combined sewer system. Uh, again, in the, in, the, in the neighborhoods in that area, there uh, were combined sewers were uh, the sanitary and storm were all in one storm sewer, uh, and we have a consent decree agreement with the state uh, where we are, are, are mandated essentially to get rid of 
uh, what's a combined sewer overflow uh, that's at 22nd high uh, by by the end of 2023. So uh, so that project is is related to sewers and envi for, for environmental purposes. The Ingersoll reconstruction project took place between 42nd and Polk Boulevard. So again, a lot of construction to say the least uh, in 2021. So uh, here tonight, we'd like to give you an update uh, one uh, on that Western Ingersoll sewer separation project uh, between uh, uh, really in, the impacts to, to Ingersoll are between 35th Street and 41st Street. Uh, and then second, we'll give an update on the Ingersoll streetscape construction that's gonna happen uh, between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th Street on the south side. So, uh, so the Western Ingersoll sewer separation, again, there's already uh, a construction contractor uh, on board for that project uh, back in uh, uh, April of last year, uh, city council awarded the, the project to uh, MPS engineers uh, doing business as Kingston services. Uh, and so they, they had started the work. Uh, and then in terms of the Ingersoll Avenue streetscape project, uh, that, that contract was just awarded uh, in Jan uh, here in, in February, just earlier this month, uh, to Jasper Construction Services, uh, and Jasper is the one who who had done the the previous phase as well. So, so many of you who are along Ingersoll may be familiar with uh, working with Jasper as well. So, so we have contractors on board. So, here's kind of the graphics of where the projects are that we're talking about here. Uh, and, and so, again, the Ingersoll Streetscape Phase Three construction that we're, that's going to gear up here, uh, starting likely in March. Uh, will be between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th Street uh, with the work on the south side uh, of the road. Uh, and the work will be similar to what was done on the north side, uh, with the exception, I think there, there's, not a, there's not water main work uh, on the south side. And then we got uh, the Western Ingersoll sewer separation work that we're talking about in terms of on Ingersoll is between 35th Street and, and, and 41st Street. So I think here, uh, Jared, uh, Jared, is this where you take over? Uh, let me yeah, see I'll take. I can take it from here. Perfect. Um, right. yeah, thank you, Jared. So, as, as Steve said, the Western Ingersoll uh, project is mainly a sewer separation project uh, to separate the storm sewer and the sanitary sewer. But along with that, uh, we also incorporated some aspects of the streetscape um, between 35th and 38th uh, was what was constructed this year. Um, and then the, the next phase of it will be from 38th to 41st. So we'll talk about that in a little bit here. But remaining work for the first phase, um, the major storm sewer, large scale storm sewer is already been completed all the way to 30, 38th. Uh, what is remaining to do is some small scale underground work on 37th. Um, small scale is in terms of the, it, the trenches won't be as wide or as deep and it'll be much smaller diameter pipe. Uh, easier for the contractor to uh, to work with. Um, there is some streetscape work that needs to be completed. Uh, I believe it is just past 36th right now is where it is fully complete. There is still some planter modifications to be done between between there and 38th. Some uh, some red colored separate bike bike path uh, that needs to go in. And then there's permeable pavers that will be installed similar to what was installed on the streetscape projects in parking areas. Uh, there's for the winter, there was either uh, temporary granular or temporary pavement put in those that will come out. Um, some granular material be put in uh, that can hold, hold and treat stormwater and uh, pavers will be placed on top of that. Um, on the street itself, there's a, there will be one more final lift of asphalt to provide a final driving surface. Uh, that'll that will be the most impactful and will uh, go to center line approximately. And then there is some paving to be done on 36th Street uh, as well. Uh, moving on to how that will impact properties along that stretch of Ingersoll. Again, this is looking from 35th to 38th which is where the, where the pipe was installed last year. A driveway should be able to remain open during this, this year's construction. Those driveways were, nearly all of those driveways were poured for their, their final depth and final, um, the final way they will be for the end of the project. 
Uh, there will be some short-term duration, short-term impacts to on-street parking, especially when uh, taking out the temporary payment and putting in those those permeable interlocking pavers to allow the contractor room to do the remaining streetscape work we will we'll shift traffic to the south half of the road similar to what was done last year and um, allow the north half for work with with gaps in this traffic control to allow access to the driveways uh, and then the during the final asphalt placement uh, it'll be a full closure of the north half of the road and again, uh, the south half will be used to maintain traffic. So the plan is for at all times for uh, traffic to be maintained in one in one lane each direction using the south half of the road. Uh, as for the next phase of work, that will start from 38th and continue smaller diameter storm sewer to the west all the way to 41st Street. This storm sewer is, as I said, a smaller diameter, which means uh, shall, smaller trench needs. It is also shallower in the ground, which also reduces the impact that we will see this year as compared to last year. And we were also able to slide the smaller pipe closer to the curb line. So all in all, the impact should be, main, should be confined to the north half of the road instead of creeping over the center line like it had to a few times last year. The protected bike path will be installed to this section just like it was to this farther to the east. Uh, and new HMA will be placed to center line. There, along with the smaller pipe and less impactful trenches, the biggest change uh, moving from 38th to 41st is that streetscape work will be more limited to allow for a greater range of options in the future impacts to uh, the property owners for this stretch will uh, be pretty similar to last year. Uh, again, we'll have to shift traffic to the south to this area as well. There will be closures of driveways necessary for this for this stretch of the project. Um, those impact times can be coordinated uh, with property owners to, uh, to find I don't know if there's an ever ideal time to shut up or access, but we can work with you to find the find the least impactful time. Um, temporary granular can be used to uh, restore access as, as soon as possible. Um, although the uh, number of times the driveways access driveways are impacted uh, may may be multiple. We'll have to uh, impact those when we come through with the pipe, and then again when we when we pour concrete for the final driveway. Um, side roads will also be closed to allow for some additional intersection work. This uh, stage will probably, uh, the current plan for the contractor is to do the remaining work between 35th and 38th and the pipe work from 38th to 41st um, with two different crews starting right away in the spring. spring uh, so there, there will be a portion of time where Ingersoll will be closed down from 35th clear to 41st, but as the streetscape works gets done, we should be able to open up portions of Ingersoll starting on the east and working our way, working our way west until we catch up to the trench work. Then the final section that will impact Ingersoll is 35th to 41st on the south side. Uh, the contractor has stubbed storm sewer pipe to center line of road, uh, but since we were maintaining traffic on those south lanes, the completion of those cross runs to put intakes on the south side will have to wait uh, until until we can get traffic on the north lanes. That work is currently scheduled for the spring of 2023. That would allow the contractor fo to focus on getting some of the more large diameter pipe and new storm sewer up into the neighborhoods north of Ingersoll Avenue. Um, there will be minimal, again, traffic would be maintained on both directions, but on the north half this time where the new pavement is, uh, it will require some side road closures to the south, and there will be minimal driveway impacts in the area. Um, what's shown there in red is the overall work area that'll be closed to through traffic 
Uh, there will be openings in the traffic control to allow access to driveways. Um, the actual work where pavement and pipe will go in is shown in the blue areas. So the blue areas will be directly impacted. The red areas uh, will just have the through lanes closed down to allow for room to work. Uh, again, this will be smaller diameter pipe, which means shallower, less impactful trenches, and the limited locations also help. Uh, the final slide we have is representatives from folk that will be uh, out on the site in, uh, doing on-site construction engineering and on-site uh, observation of construction. A few of you probably have met Drew Ike already. He was out there last summer um, coordinating with property owners, the city, and the contractor. And then our uh, folks construction services manager, Alicia Warden, uh, is on site often too, supporting Drew. Uh, Thanks, Jared. I'm gonna, Jared, I'm gonna pause for just a little bit, just so folks, uh, again, uh, as Jared mentioned, uh, Drew Ike is the kind of the on site representative. Uh, Drew Ike, uh, his phone number is 515 230. 2678. Again, 515 230 2678. Uh, Drew Ike, again, he'll be the on site representative. Uh, if you see him on site, please don't hesitate to. Uh, again, he's the city's uh, representative on site doing the inspection. Please don't hesitate to uh, you know, get a hold of him if you have questions or specific needs or uh, access uh, needs. You know, he, he can be the liaison between uh between the contractor so uh so again drew ike at 230-2678 so okay all right and then uh next uh uh thanks jared uh next we're gonna uh talk about the ingersoll uh avenue streetscape phase three uh, again that's the section between martin luther king jr parkway and 28th street on the south side and so let me turn that over uh to uh Sc scott almighty scott Thank you, Steve. Uh, phase three will just be the continuation of what you've been seeing thus far between MLK and 28th Street. Uh, in the previous two years, we did phase one, uh, MLK to 24th, and then this last year we did 24th to 28th. Uh, both of those included a significant amount of water main work. Uh, we replaced the entire water main along that stretch of Ingersoll, which uh, really took a lot of time. Uh, there were several instances where the water mains when they bored the new services across at the old water main and it broke. So it was really quite a mess and that took a lot of time. So this year there is no water main, which is why we feel we can go the entire distance between MLK and 28th street on the south side and get it done in one year. Uh, this project also includes the reconstruction of 28th street. It was a separate project, but we lumped it together since the work was similar. Um, on an attached map here, Steve, if you go forward, this, this is between Linden and Woodland. Um, so shown in yellow there, we will also be doing work on 28th Street uh, under this contract. Uh, previously with phase two, we did replace uh, 28th Street from Linden down to Ingersoll. So this work here in yellow will kind of complete the work on 28th Street in this section. Um, as you can see on the screen, we will also go a little bit farther south on 28th Street um, past the restaurant there. That is to pick up some storm sewer improvements and fix some drainage issues that are in that area. So otherwise, as shown on the screen, we're going to go down the south side of Ingersoll uh, from the right of way out to the center line. If you go to the next sheet, uh, it takes two sheets to show it so long, um, all the way down to ML King. There are some good pavements we can save down on the east end. Um, difference there, blue is concrete and gray is asphalt. So that's kind of a large overview of the project. If you go to the next slide, Steve, please. Um, this is what you'll see. It's basically an identical match to what we installed on the north side. Um, so we are really reconstructing everything from the right-of-way line out to the center of the street. Brand new wide sidewalks for pedestrians. We'll get the planters with landscaping. Uh, the elevated bike lane, which will be red color, just as on the north side. And then the parking uh, will be in these permeable pavers uh, for stormwater infiltration. And then a brand new street where we will again be tearing out the old trolley tracks, um, reconstructing the base. Um, that's why the street's so bad is it's, it's really, really old under there. So 
pretty much a whole new street section all the way through, very similar to what you saw on the north side in the past two years. Um, go ahead, next slide's fine. Um, we will additionally, in a lot of cases, um, since there's so much grade between Grand and Ingersoll, um, in the original streetscape project, you'll notice some of these grates. Uh, we will be installing these at key driveways that have really steep, long driveways to grab that stormwater. Right now, it just shoots down from Grand, rushes onto Ingersoll and, and floods the street. So a lot of these long driveways uh, that have a lot of steep grade, we will install these grates to grab that water before it crosses the sidewalk and enters the street. So that's another item we'll be doing. Next slide, please. Uh, phasing. This is obviously a much longer phase than what we did before. Uh, so we've broken into four stages, six stages, sorry, four early stages and two later stages. Uh, we will start on the east end down by ML King by Zora Restaurant, and we'll work our way up the hill. Um, this is mostly due to storm sewer, likes to flow downhill. Obviously, 28th is higher than ML King. So we work from the low end up the hill. Um, the stages will probably blend together just due to the timing and how limited time, you know, we've really got March to, you know, maybe mid October. So we'll try to keep to these stages as best we can, but they'll probably blend a little bit as we move up the hill. But, but otherwise in early March, you'll probably look to see them down on the east end uh, of the project. Next slide, please. Um, stages one through four will be very similar to what you've, I guess, experienced the last two years. Traffic will be pushed over in the construction zones head to head. Where there is no construction, it'll be traffic lanes as normal. So we'll put you as you're headed eastbound into that center turn lane. Um, westbound, you'll be in the lane you're always, always supposed to be in. We'll have a fence up along the side so the contractor can safely deliver pipe, other materials. And then they will be reconstructing the sidewalk all the way up to that concrete curb in stages one through four. Um, really because uh, the street is a beast uh, to re reconstruct this section. So we're really going to focus on getting all the hardscape done between the building faces and out to that blue concrete curb in stages one through four. For the next slide, please. Uh, Station five and six will not be popular uh, because we're basically out of room to reconstruct the street. Ingersoll will be one way traffic for a period of time. Um, this is simply, as you can see by the graphic, there's no room left for cars. Um, this is due to the parking, so you'll still have parking uh, on the north side of the street. Uh, westbound traffic from downtown will still be active moving west. Um, this is probably going to happen late, later in the year, so we have to do all this hardscape first, and then we're going to hustle the contractor to get in there, tear out the old trolley tracks, put down the base, and put down the paving as quickly as possible. We've given them a very tight time frame to do this because um, obviously it's going to be a major inconvenience. Um, I've lived through it before and where I live. Um, so this is something that's going to come with a lot of advanced warning. We'll probably do flyers for businesses to post um, outside, social media, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this, this part will not be fun. Next slide, please. Um, yep, so just a quick graphic of the one-way layout, traffic moving west. Uh, we'll have fences just north of the center line, and then we'll be reconstructing the road. Uh, we'll still have access to all the driveways, as everyone has to the previous phases. Um, contractors sometimes work at nights or when you're closed, but uh, luckily we have Jasper on the job still. Uh, I think they've been really good to work with, especially with owners. So it's a quick graphical layout of the one-way traffic. Next slide, please. Detour. Detour will be Grand Avenue uh, for people headed eastbound. We will have to make a turn at 28th or sooner if you're a regular. Head down Grand Avenue, down to 18th Street to get back on alignment. Um, those who use this as a regular commute probably find their own way for the time that it's closed. <clears throat> the detour, um, we've given them 20 working days for stage five and 20 working days for stage six. What that means, working day is usually Monday through Friday. They can work Saturday or Sundays if they choose. Um, but all in all, it's expected to take six to eight weeks. Um, hopefully it can go faster. Uh, but again, those trolley tracks do exist underneath there. We found them, oh, I think from Vogue Vision East. So that even to the West, uh, last year we still found that, that they pulled the steel out. I think they pulled it out for uh, World War II, actually. Uh, but the 
the uh, ties were still there. So that took them a lot of time still to dig that out. So that is why we have given them the time we have. They're gonna do it as quickly as they can. Um, yeah, so that's the detour route. Uh, next slide, please. Um, impacts to businesses within this corridor on the south side. I'm sure it's everything you've seen on the north side. Uh, we will have to replace your driveways, your sidewalks. Um, there won't be on-street parking in these zones where we're doing active construction. Um, the good news is with the parking on the north side should remain the entire project. So there will be a little more parking than last year, the last two years. Um, there are select driveways that only have one access point. Um, where we were talking about those trench drains, we have to install those. Uh, that takes it takes a little more time. Um, so we've put stipulations in the contract that they have to work outside of business hours. So after your business closes, they can come in there, rip it out. Obviously, a lot of this work they can't do in one night. So they'll put a, a steel plate over this. Um, Jasper actually did the original street streetscape project and had to do this before. So. Some of you who uh, are down in that zone may be familiar with this. So um, they will be working outside business hours to replace your driveways. Otherwise they will be open during business hours. Next slide, please. Um, my information down there is listed below. Um, again, Scott Almeida, I was on the project the last two years, will be again, and so is Danielle. She was the uh, my on-site observer um, last two years and she will be out there this year again. Um, we're expecting probably a mid-March start. Yep, thanks. I just want to pause for a second. Thanks, Scott. Uh, just again, to leave this screen up again. As Scott mentioned, uh, Danielle, who was on the project last year, uh, Danielle will be that liaison to the contractor. So uh, Danielle's phone number is, is posted there. It's 515-204-7902. Again, that's 515-204-7902. Uh, if you have specific uh, access needs or uh, uh, need to, to work something out but with the contractor. Again, D Danielle can be that liaison. She's on site doing the inspection uh, and, and for the city. And so Danielle Richards. So. Yep. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with Jasper, Dale uh, is their foreman. He's really great to work with. I'm sure you'll get to know him really well, but he's he's flexible. Just just talk to him and uh, they'll work. They'll work to accommodate you. Mm -hmm. All right. So that that that's kind of an update on the two uh, construction projects. Uh, since we had uh, a large group here, we we're, we're gearing up to start uh, the design uh, for the next phase of the streetscape, which is uh, 28th Street to 31st Street. Uh, and so, Scott, I think you're going to take this one as well. Um, is that I don't know. Do we have that one? Whoops. So again, I just wanted to show a snapshot here. Here's a. Uh, a slide of the different projects. The fa phase we're talking about is in is in pink, and I'll come back to this slide a little bit later here. But let's, uh, Scott, are you presenting phase four as well? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Um, so phase four, obviously, we've got phase one through three designs. So that means we're moving west. Um, uh, with the Western Ingersoll project, you see them starting to incorporate some of the complete street um, updates for Ingersoll Avenue. Um, so as we move move our way west, phase four has always been in the plan. Uh, this is obviously the part of the original streetscape that kind of kicked this whole thing off. Um, our goals for phase four is as follows, uh, increase safety for all users, maintain and enhance the existing streetscape that was already invested in, and then continue uh, that look that we've established to the east uh, to create a vibrant commercial corridor, which it already is, but we want to enhance that. You can go ahead, Steve. Um, I've already had some questions. Uh, oh my gosh, why are you guys coming to this section? It's already done. Um, we're only working between the planters. So as shown in this graphic here, we're keeping the sidewalks, keeping the planters, the poles, all of that that's been invested in. We're really dealing with the garbage in the middle. The street is terrible. So that's where we're gonna be tearing out. We're gonna bring a saw in, cut along the sides of the planters and rip out the guts in between. We're gonna replace that roadway um, with a brand new section uh, again, we probably will find trolley tracks or the remnants of trolley tracks under there. That's part of what's making this so rough. Uh, next slide um, for tasks that we're going to accomplish here. Uh, we will be adding that raised bike lane, um, the red concrete that we've established um, for uh, friendly bike space for all users. Uh, Primitive paver parking will be added as well and more storm sewer. So 
Ingersoll has a lot of stormwater issues. So we're not only gonna be adding a little more storm sewer, but adding these primitive pavers that suck up the water, store it, clean it. So we're really creating that complete street um, that wasn't 100% achieved when we, the original project was done. So you can see on both sides here, we've got the existing planters on both sides. We're not gonna to touch those, those stay. We're just gonna kind of rip out what's in between it and replace it. Um, so this is the, and we're very early on here, but this is a typical section that the design groups has agreed upon. It matches everything that's done to the east and what's being performed to the west on Western Ingersoll. Um, next slide, please. Um, additional tax for phase four. Um, we're gonna try to deal with parking uh, as best we can. Again, these are just concepts, ideas. Uh, we haven't even really started this project yet, but um, as we go to construction and we lose parking, we're gonna have to try to figure out a way to keep businesses thriving, keep people coming to the corridor. So we're gonna have opportunities to work with business owners to maybe share parking temporarily during construction, figure out some ways to coordinate. Um, these could also be long-term or short-term, so we don't know yet, um, but we're gonna to try to increase or maintain on-street parking levels as we, as we retrofit this new section and then possibly increase off street parking coordination. Again, that completely depends on the owners and how much they wanna cooperate with each other. So I've already got some questions on this. We're not forcing anybody to anything, um, but we just wanna make help this community thrive. And so these are discussions that are gonna be had with the design team and the owners and uh, businesses. Uh, next slide, please. Back one, I think. Can we fly past one? Go ahead back, okay. Okay, design challenges. Um, this section has a significant number of driveways, um, significantly more than the Eastern sections. That's not something we can really change. Uh, we're gonna be looking at ways possibly to combine um, or eliminate redundant ones. Again, that's 100% on the owners. Uh, if we can come up with a plan that works for them making sure we have adequate site distances for safety. Um, with so many driveways, that's a lot of vehicles pulling out. Um, we're hoping to increase pedestrians and bicyclists. So we've got to keep those things in mind as we design this. Uh, we're gonna implement the new section, uh, which does cause some issues with the driveways and the way things fit together. So we're gonna to try to work through those sections. And then I was asked if parallel parking would fit in this right away and it does not. Um, you would have to get rid of the center turn lane to fit in back in parallel parking. And we can't do that because we've got about 37 driveways um, in this section. So we can't do that either. So next slide, please. Um, right now we're gonna work on a 10% conceptual plan. Um, we're gonna look at removing a few select driveways where access is available via other routes um, to try to keep on-street parking high. Um, this is something we will obviously approach business owners first. You're not going to see it on any publications or anything like that. So we're going to start having stakeholder meetings. Um, when we meet with them, we'll also talk about coordinating rear parking between businesses. Uh, when we go to reconstruct this to help all properties. And then, you know, we're going to spend a lot of time reaching out with property owners to figure out what we can do, show them the concepts and see what things will work and what won't. Next slide, please. Um, design team for this, uh, me, Scott Almeida, Kirk Michael, Lauren Koloff is the new avenues director. Um, she's on the design team as well as a significant number of uh, city employees as well. Project manager again is Chris Cool with City of Des Moines. Um, so you will probably have me in most cases reaching out to you to set up meetings, uh, discuss these um, with COVID. A lot of them will probably be on teams. Um, some may be in person on site. So we'll just kind of see what works best for everybody as we get those meetings set up. Uh, next slide, please. Scott, I'll just pause this for a second. Again, if sure. you have follow-up questions, again, you'll, you'll uh, as Scott mentioned, they're ju uh, just getting started with design. And so uh, basically, as he said before, you know, they'll be, as they get into the design, be working with individual property owners, uh, reaching out to you on 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 impacts and, and how the design works in front of the, those properties that are right along your saw. So, uh, Scott and Chris. Uh, Chris Cool is is with the city. Uh, you can see his email address there, ckkuhl at dmgov.org, ckkuhl at dmgov.org. 
Um, so if you have any follow up questions or, or you know, uh, but again, we're just starting here. So they'll, they'll likely be, if you're on the law the quarter, they'll be reaching out to you. So. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Next steps, anticipated schedule. Um, we're going 10% design right now. So we've started counting parking stalls on street. What's their existing, um, and we're going to proceed to a 10% design layout that we think is achievable. We're going to reach, you know, for the stars to start, and then we'll work from there back uh, when we run into conflicts. Um, so we'll be having stakeholder meetings probably this summer and fall, um, reaching out to you, seeing what will work, what won't work, how do we coordinate with other owners, um, what opportunities do we have, and then we'll be doing final design next year. So we're actually going to take a year off from the pain and suffering of construction in this area. So we will not have construction during the summer of 2023 on this section of Ingersoll. We will go to construction in 2024, 2025 for this latest section. So that's the schedule we have right now. And again, there's a graphic of what's happening. So we're gonna work on the blue this year and the red, and then we're gonna take a year off at least in this Eastern section. Uh, so we're looking 2024, 2025 for what we're calling phase four, 31st to 28th street. So we'll leave that slide up there uh, for a minute. Again, uh, as Scott mentioned, the 2022, both the blue and the red will be uh, heavy under construction. Uh, we anticipate that it will linger into 2023, but hopefully done by uh, by the summer of 2023 uh, is the hope. Uh, so, uh, and then the uh, phase four between 28th uh, and 31st Street, again, just starting design here. We anticipate that construction would happen in 2024, uh, carrying into 2025. So, so with that, we're going to pause here for uh, if the, if you have questions, uh, comments, uh, especially that would be interest of uh, of the entire you know, of of the group. Uh, again, if you have specific details you want to work out that you you know you maybe don't want to discuss it on the Zoom meeting here uh, with everyone, again, please reach out to. Uh, uh, the folks that we've we've talked about tonight, Chris Cool, uh, project engineer for the city for the Ingersoll streetscape, along with Scott Almeida, uh, or on the Western Ingersoll sewer separation uh, with Jared Brokey and and uh, Brad Brockman. So, um, but let's uh, pause here. Okay, I see. Again, if you could raise your hand, I have put the instructions up there using the menu bar, and we'll we'll call on you individually. I see. Uh, Blake Iverson. Uh, Blake, let's go ahead and see if we can get you on mute. Perfect. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes, thank you. Cool, thank you. Yeah, my name is Blake Iverson. I just live in the neighborhood of the uh, the phase four um, that's about to start. And I just wanted to say I really loved um, seeing that you're going to be encouraging shared parking during construction. Um, you know, as someone who, who lives in the neighborhood, I walk around Ingersoll frequently. Um, and I always think back to that. I think it was the Mortgage Bankers Association or whatever report saying that we have 1.6 million parking spots in this city um, and 200,000 residents. And so if there's a way, I mean, I know you were talking about just doing it temporarily during construction, but if there's a way to encourage that like permanently, I mean, I think Ingersoll is one of like kind of the perfect place to try shared parking as a way to kind of right size our, our parking in the city, especially as we uh, we add all of these pedestrian and bicycle and, and transit amenities, or not, not amenities, but uh, facilities um, to encourage people to get out of their cars um, and try walking around. I, I think that shared parking is, is great. And I love um, the idea of encouraging businesses also that, especially that have more than one driveway access to consider maybe giving up one of their driveways because as a pedestrian or as someone on a bike, like that's something that you're always you know, kind of looking over your shoulder for as, as cars coming across your your uh, your right of way. So love the shared parking, love um, the thinking about driveways. That was, uh, that was all. Excellent. Thank you so much, Blake. Okay, and I just want to repeat, you know, for those, if you're on a phone and you can't see the screen, if you're on a phone uh, and you'd like to, to have a comment question, please press star nine, star nine to raise your hand, and then the, to mute or unmute will be star six. So... Okay, so we'll pause here, see if there's any other questions, comments. Okay. 
Yeah, with all the construction, we we uh, we know this is impactful. It's um, you you all experienced it, uh, uh, you know, this these past couple of years. So uh, um, there's no sugar coating, and it, it is very tough. And um, but we are uh, happy to, to you know that that we got Jasper on board, and we got some uh, returning uh, inspection staff on board to kind of continue that communication and try and work with property owners individually here. Um, so again, I want to thank one, thank everyone for their patience as we, we go through this. We know it's definitely impactful to say the least. So, uh, Deb Lawrence, Deb, let me see if we can get you on mute here. There we go. Hi, I um, am with DML management and I manage the building at 3209 Ingersoll. Just curious when we might, uh, have some idea of when we would be impacted from 31st to 35th. Let's see. Do we have uh, uh, Dave Camp? Are you on on this one? I, I you know we we'd obviously be looking at uh, um, uh, we the uh, you know beyond the 2025 time frame. But Dave, I don't know if you know. Clarify. Let me see if I can find Dave. Yep, I'm here. Yeah. So. Can you hear me, Steve? Yep, yep, good. Yep. So she's asking. So, yep. uh, she's asking between the thirty-second and thirty-fifth time frame. What would, do we have an estimate on when that might be? Just roughly. So I would, if you go back to your schedule uh, slide with the <clears throat> other ones, we. So we're we're looking at from from thirty-first or twenty-eighth to thirty-first, the twenty twenty-four through twenty twenty-five. Um, we're probably looking at the section between 31st and 42nd Street, probably in two separate phases. So as, as uh, you're, you are at 3209, that would probably, uh, for relative expectations, we would probably start continuing from the east and moving west, probably in 2026 uh, in that we would start that next phase. Uh, so we're, we're looking out a few years, but that's uh, once you do the planning and designing that that's not that far away. So that's probably a good time frame to expect that section to start construction. All right, great, thank you. Yeah, and, they, and just for folks to, you know, they, they, the only reason we've been putting in portion uh, the streetscape improvements uh, but between 35th and 41st is again because we're doing the sewer separation. Uh, we figured now would be the time to try and get some of that in just to minimize as much as possible disruption in the future. But um, so, yep, thank, thank you, Deb. Okay. Have other questions, comments? Yeah, I'll pause just a little bit here. I know we threw a lot at you. Um, again, if you're on a phone and you have a question, comment, feel free to raise your hand, star nine, uh, or and then star six to mute or unmute yourself. We'll wait just a minute or so here. I know we got a lot. Again, we appreciate everyone taking their time this evening uh, to join us. Uh, again, as I as I mentioned before, this meeting is is being recorded, uh, and maybe we could, um, John and Chris, if we can. I think we, you know a lot of you all registered uh, for this, so maybe we can just at, and when we're done, email email out the uh, uh, the link to the Western Ingersoll page, and um, and that way folks can find this presentation if they like to have to rewatch it or share it with others 
and also find the contact information. Okay, let's, uh, Jenny Smith. Jenny, let's see if we can get you. Okay, there you go. Hi, this is Jenny Smith. I'm at 4019 Ingersoll. And I just wanted to confirm, so is the streetscape project ending at 31st? Like that will be the end of it, or is it coming all the way up to like the 41st region? It, the the intent the plan is to bring the the cross this cross section that you see uh, between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th all the way out to to 41st 42nd yeah yep. okay so when is the streetscape effort for that 30 to the red to the red block there the 35th to 41st so I understand the sewer piece will happen 22 to 23 right yep and the, then there will be an additional phase is that how I should be reading that. That's correct. So, so, yep. So we anticipate probably, uh, you know, between 31st and 42nd, that whole section would probably be a couple phases with starting with, you know, generally 31st to 35th, maybe that range, uh, being like a 26, 27 timeframe, and then following that going all the way out to 42nd. So, uh, so obviously like the South, you know, the South side of the road streetscape would all need to be done, um, as well as the pavement. Uh, you know, again, the sewer is, is putting back generally the sewer on the north side, on the north side of the road is putting in the streetscape where pretty much where it's disrupting. So where the sewer activation is happening. So the rest of the streetscape would need to be put in just like it is uh, between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th. Okay, thank you. Yep, thank you. Okay. So for those that are on a phone, uh, the graphic that's on the screen is uh, is is again showing uh, the Ingersoll Streetscape Phase Three between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th Street. This is the south half of the roadway. Uh, we anticipate this construction will the bulk of it will be done this year in 2022, but it will there's a, a good chance it will carry into 2023 and uh, potentially into the summer of 2023. Uh, again, depending on weather, depending on utility, uh, other utility conflicts uh, with with uh, private type utilities, um, and so uh, this th then also shown is the Western Ingersoll sewer separation, uh, which is between 35th and 41st. Uh, as Jared mentioned before, uh, the bulk of the large sewer work between 35th and 38th has been installed. Uh, so this year in 2022. They'll be doing a lot of those restoration streetscape type elements, pave, putting back the pavements, uh, and then they will continue the sewer between 38th and 41st, as well as doing the restoration. So, uh, so that's that's the work that'll take place but, uh, this year in 2022, uh, maybe carrying into to the summer of 23, um, and then uh, the design uh, aspect, Ingersoll Avenue streetscape phase four from 24 to 25. Is going to uh, take place. We anticipate construction in 2024 to 2025. Again, that design is just starting uh, between 28th Street and 31st Street. So, and as as mentioned, and good questions there. Yeah, the streetscape is intended to the, the cross section that you you're, that, we're, that we're building right now between Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and 28th is intended to be carried all the way out to 40 uh, 42nd Street. And so, um, along with future phases. You know, pause again for a minute uh, for more questions, comments. Hi, uh, I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Is this my David? name is. Yeah, sorry. I'm not seeing a raise my hand button. I'm not trying to be rude. That's okay. Um, That's okay. <laughs> I just had a quick question. I was kind of multitasking when you were talking about this section. Uh, I'm an owner of Bartender's Handshake at 3615 Ingersoll. Um, and I know you're kind of just doing the streetscape there in front of us to begin with. But as the project continues, I think you maybe mentioned closing Ingersoll at some point during that. Is that correct? When you're working on the south side of the road or is that just partial closure? So, and, and so, uh... Jared, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So for the sewer separation, you're you're at 3615. Uh, right. So we're talking the sewer separation project. 
they will uh, in March here they'll resume work on the north side of the street, uh, and so Correct, yeah. it'll switch over to the um, the the north lanes, parking lanes, and and travel lane on the north side will be closed. So traffic will be placed head to head. The eastbound traffic will still stay in the normal lane that it is today. The westbound traffic would be basically driving in the middle uh, left turn lane, essentially. So kind of, kind of similar to what it, same as what it did last year. So the road will not be fully closed, but there, it'll be down to one lane in each direction. Uh, and then once that mainline sewer is done between 35th and 41st, eventually the contractor will have to put in these lateral crossings that go uh, to the south side to take the intakes on the south side. Um, and again, that will not result in a full closure, but it will result in closing the south lanes. So, so the now traffic will be during that phase operating uh, the eastbound or the westbound traffic will be in its normal lane and the eastbound traffic will be in the middle left turn lane during that phase. So I don't know, Jared, Jared did I cover anything wrong there? Or? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Uh, yes. Okay. Great. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay. Yep. And again, yeah, yeah, folks, if you, you know, like I said, if you're on a phone uh, for questions, uh, you can press uh, star nine and then star six, uh, star nine to raise your hand, star six to, uh, to, to unmute yourself. If you're on a laptop or computer, um, hopefully you, may, you might see the, uh, on the bottom, there's a, uh, a menu bar with kind of a re, uh, you know reaction type. If you see the participation or, or the the three button uh, three dots there, there should be options to uh, pull up the participants and then raise your hand uh, through that aspect. So we'll pause a little bit for uh, more questions comments. I do want to thank everyone for for joining us this evening. Uh, also, thank you to uh, our mayor Frank County uh, and our um, uh, ward council member Josh Mandelbaum uh, is with us on the call as well. So, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Councilman. Pause for just another minute here to see if there's any last questions, comments. And again, please um, know that again, this is just the, you know, if you have specific questions, you know, reach out to the folks that we've provided contacts before. Uh, and again, we'll, we'll figure out a way to, to email the folks on this message uh, that, you know, the, the links to where they can find this presentation if they'd like to refer back to it or as well. So, and I would also like to point out that the construction projects before we start them, uh, we'll be issuing uh, letters to the property owners right along the corridor there. Uh, and then also, um, hopefully you will see uh, uh, Drew and Danielle out on site, you know, stopping in, uh, working with you individually as construction progresses in front of your business. So, so again, letters will want, you know, we, we think, uh, and I don't know, Jared, Scott, or Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but we think the contractor, again, weather permitting, it's, it's, uh, I guess it's probably more of a winter weather today, but maybe on this weekend, it'll be more uh, springtime weather, but uh, so I'm not sure we'll get, but uh, we're hoping that maybe it'll, we'll be starting up here in mid, mid August. Does that sound yeah, like March. maybe what we're thinking if the weather permits? Or I'm sorry, mid, mm -hmm. mid March, mid March. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> They have a lot of work to do, so we'll probably start as early as they can. Okay, great. Yeah, well, uh, mid to mid to late March is usually usually prime time for going. So I think that'll be the same for Western Ingersoll. Hey, okay, let's uh, let me see here. Let me try and get I see some questions in the chat here. Let me try and get folks. And I apologize. I'm trying to well, got Laura Kalaf. Uh, Laura from the avenues. Let me see if 
Laura, did you have any comments or questions? Lauren, let's see if I can just unmute her. Yeah. No, I didn't have any questions. Um, I just also didn't see the raise hand button, so didn't know if anyone else was experiencing that same issue. Okay. Thank you, Lauren. Yep, and I we apologize for that. Yep, sorry if it's. Um, yeah, if you if you don't see the raised hand, just you know, please let us know. I see. Uh, uh, um, uh, or or send a message in the chat. I appreciate that, Lauren. Thank you. Uh, we have a question from Kimberly. Um, and maybe, uh, Kimberly, what is the target date for work on Pleasant and Woodland? Uh, the original thought was it would start uh, in 21. Uh, now, we're, now it's looking more like 22 spring. Uh, so Pleasant and Woodland. Uh, do we have uh, Jared or Brad maybe to answer that one? As you when, <clears throat> when the work will start up in those areas? Yeah. Uh, the most recent schedule we got from the contractor would be to start with their underground crew, which would be the first to impact anywhere um, at 38th and uh, for the first half of the summer, get Ingersoll finished so their paving crews can come behind that. As soon as they're done with that, they'd start up 38th uh, and then on to Woodland. So mid midsummer probably is when they'd start moving north into the neighborhoods. And Jared, is it fair to say, I mean, I think what did, what la, uh, last year construction, particularly down the area of 35th did not progress as, as quickly as we'd hoped. And that was due to uh, conflicts with uh, uh, some utilities that were discovered in, in places that maybe weren't thought to be. As, yeah, there was a fairly large gas main that was quite a significant distance from where original locates indicated it was uh which caused some time for some redesigns moving some water main around um and kind of put us a little put the contractor starting the whole project a little behind uh so they're playing catch up this this once they turned the corner and got on the ingersoll things went much more smoothly and much more expected so we are we're hoping for the similar things here when we start back on Ingersoll farther to the to the west. Okay. And just wanted to, uh, thanks, Jared. And I just wanted to point out, uh, I, in, for, you know, uh, the mayor and, and Alan had also, Alan had also noted uh, just, uh, you know, for, for Zoom, it sounds like the, there's also a raise hand feature under the reactions button on the menu ribbon. Uh, so not, so the participants, uh, uh, button. Uh, that's the way I, I'm probably, you know, I actually open up the participant screen and mute, uh, do it that way. But under the reactions button uh, is where uh, where there's a raise hand option. So I apologize for, for that there. So, so thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, we'll pause a little bit for another minute or so here. Okay. Well, again, uh, I'm not seeing any further questions, comments. Uh, I, I hope this information was helpful to get started. As, me, as I mentioned before, uh, when we know more uh, definitive type dates, uh, there will be letters issued to those right along the corridor, uh, as well as you'll see, uh, you know, Danielle for uh, the streetscape project and Drew for the uh, uh, sewer separation project uh, out uh, as the inspectors. and. Uh, and if you have any follow-up questions, please don't hesitate to, con to contact the folks that we provided contacts for uh, as well. I want to thank everyone so much for your time this evening. Uh, and uh, I want to thank uh, all of you. And, and also thank you so much for ahead of time for, for your patience. We, we know this is impactful. There's, there's no question about it uh, when we're tearing up a street like this. Uh, and then when we do underground work, it's even more challenging uh, as well. So we know it's impactful. Uh, we hope that uh, again, uh, with you know, with, if you have questions or you want to work something, work out something with the contractor, with uh, 
Uh, please find Drew or Danielle uh, for the streetscape, Drew for the sewer separation uh, as we, we move into construction. Uh, and I, again, thanks everyone for their time. Thank you to our mayor, Mayor Frank County. Thank you, Council Member Josh Mandelbaum uh, for joining us. Uh, and thanks to all our, our uh, uh, design team and construction team uh, as well. Uh, I see we have some of the contractors, uh, representatives on, on board here tonight too. Thank you so much as well, uh, Mitt and Dale. Uh, for for uh, for joining us, so you can hear these comments. So um, so th with that, we'll we're going to go ahead and conclude the meeting. Uh, I don't see any further comments, questions. So uh, please, everyone, have a a, a safe and, and and wonderful evening. Thank you so much.